Hey guys, Shadow here. So today, we're going to be doing a slightly different video than the ones we usually do. Uh, we're going to be talking about this program called Lackey CCG, and we're going to be doing a little small tutorial on how to use it. Uh, it allows you to play Fire Emblem Cipher online, or any card game online, but with the plugin, you can play Fire Emblem Cipher. Uh, you can test out cool decks and cool deck builds ideas you have before you invest in them. So let's get started. So right here, you see this is going to be your field. So uh, this whole blank thing, that's going to be the field you're going to be playing on right here. Um, we have the top of your field, your your hand, your uh, deck, and everything. So down there, you can see your hand, deck, and then here, right here, is how you change your phases. So let's uh, go. F so there's like your end phase, and then you can do your start phase, your bond phase. Um, you have your deployment phase, your action phase. Yeah. So that's you just push that to allow your opponent to know where you are. So at the top of the screen, if you push the tab called Deck Editor, it'll bring you here. So this is where you're going to make all your decks. As you can see down here, we have all the cards listed. Uh, every card that's out actually is going to be down here. So let's say we want to make a Marth deck. You can actually do a quick filter to filter out every card except for Marth. And you can drag a Marth in there. Uh, let's drag another Marth in there. And then you can also uh, increase the count of Marth that you have. So you can do plus one, plus three. So now we have a play set of uh, one Marth and two of the other Marth. And additionally, there's these cool things on the side for filters. So let's say we want to filter everything else except for green cards, because uh, we want to make a night deck. And just you can add cards like that as well. So let's throw cards in there, and now we have cards uh, for our Ike deck that we have. But now that we've finished our deck, we want to go over to save our deck. So in order to do that, you need to type in the name of the deck that you want to save. So this is our test deck, so I already had type, uh, text test typed in right there. And then going down, you got to type in your save deck. And then after you save it, there'll be all these um, tabs up here. So let's load our awakening deck that I made before. So that's my awakening deck. Um, and in order to use it in a game, you need to push load entire deck to you. So we're going to go ahead and push that button, and it'll bring you back to the screen that we were at before. So this screen is where all our things are going to happen. So uh, right here, you can see that we have 50 cards in our deck now because we did load our deck. And let's, to, in order to start a game, you got to bring your main character out. Uh, so but first, yeah, so you got to right click over there on the deck, and you can reveal the whole deck to yourself. So reveal deck to owner and push all. And then from here, fi let's find uh, our, little, our level 1 Krom. Let's see, there he is. So we gotta drag him out and put him on the field. So that's your side of the field right there. And we can see that we have no cards in our hand. So let's go ahead and draw some cards from our deck. So see how we have uh, 49 cards now? But before that, we need to hide the deck so we're not cheating and we can't see every card that we're gonna draw. So hide it, and then it's also important to shuffle your deck. So let's go back to our hand. And then from here, there's a little uh, thing out here that says draw. All your uh, fast actions will be there. So you can draw. And then here's my hand. Let's just say we're going to keep this hand. Um, you can also double tap a card in order to tap it. So in a, on the, the crawl on the field, we can double tap that. And then we need to add our orbs. So let's, because we started with five orbs, so you can push add orb five times. And now we have our five orbs. And as you can see, our deck count went down. So this is going to be our hand for now. So uh, in order to start your turn, you would draw, but we're not drawing because this is our first turn. And then so uh, let's go over to our bond phase, which we can push right there. And then we can drag a card, let's do Noe, into our bond. So now we can see that we have one bond. And your opponent can view that too by pushing that little drop down over there that says Shadow Drifter. You can, your opponent can change to see our cards. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we can put a level 1 Sumia down right now. And that's all we can do. So let's end our turn. And then over here we have these little arrows that uh, can... Uh, I think usually it'll be over there, but we can push the little arrow, and pretty much right now the arrow shows that it's going to be Test Dummy's turn. And then, since he can't do anything, it'll be our turn again. So let's skip over a few turns, so we're going to draw a card, and then let's say within those turns uh, we took some damage. So we're going to take an orb, take an orb, okay, and now we have three orbs left. And let's go back to our hand, oops, I drew an extra card. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's go back to our hand, so this could be our hand. Let's drag uh, two cards into our bond area. So now that we have three cards in our bond, we can class change our Chrom. So go ahead and drag Chrom right on top of our old Chrom, and then we have class change. Okay, so now that we know how to do pretty much everything, uh, let's see how we can host a game to play with people online. So all you need to do is push the little drop down menu right here, and then you can push host game. So you can set a password if you want. Uh, we're not going to set a password right now, but as you can see, it says Shadow Drifters game, and all you need to do is host game. 
So uh, in order for a friend to find your game, there's two things you can do. One, your friend can type in the IP address of the game that you hosted, which was on the screen earlier. So you can push that right there, uh, join with IP address. Or the easier thing to do is just go to server. So you can connect to the server that they have. And then right here, you can see all the games that are being hosted at the moment. And the ones that are black are actually going to be the same plugin you have. So I can see right here, Foodie, or whatever his name is, is actually playing uh, Fire Emblem Cypher with some other person. So that's kind of cool. We can maybe join in and see how that's going later. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do everything in this uh, program. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. And I will also uh, include everything that you need in order to install this program or uh, load anything. The plugin, everything will be in the description. Thank you very much for Tuvalo, Tuvio, for setting this whole thing up for us. And uh, yeah, we couldn't really play this without him. He I think he made the plugin and everything, so that's pretty cool. And he actually told me about it too. But yeah, so um, also, if you want to play any games with me over the internet with this program, uh, feel free to message me, or maybe just put in the comments below, not really sure, whatever you feel more comfortable doing, and then maybe we can get a game started. That will be kind of fun. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, uh, just tell me if I missed anything that you guys want to know, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!